Hey, this is Miss Aragon. Today we're going to do project 2.4 called New Product Sales. The project description says in September, Adrenaline Sports began selling a new brand of energy bars called Full Power. To determine the success of the new product, the store manager would like to know which flavors were the most popular with customers. This report will help determine the selection of flavors that will continue to be sold. So your job, as a Google Sheet specialist, you will create and format a new product sales spreadsheet that sorts the sales of each flavor of energy bars from highest to lowest. The spreadsheet will also calculate the total number of new items in the energy bar line. So down below you have some instructions. I'm not going to go over the first step. Um, I'll talk about that in the classroom or on Google Classroom. I'm going to go straight to step two. Okay, so you should have, by step two, you should have already opened a new Google Sheets, a blank one. And what we're going to do is rename the spreadsheet Project 2.4 New Product Sales. So up in the corner, where it says Untitled Spreadsheet, we need to type in the new spreadsheet name. Project 2.4 New Product Sales. I put a little dash between 2.4 and the word new. Um, oops, I guess you erased it. But that's up to you if you want to do that. Hit enter and it will save that automatically for you. All right, so step three says key the data into the spreadsheet as shown in figure 2.4. So that's the very last page in your packet. So you need to look back at that last page in your packet and type the information in exactly as you see it. If words are capitalized, you want to capitalize also. Um, also, it's very important to make sure you pay attention to what cell you type everything into. So for example, the first thing when you type in needs to go in cell A1. Um, the information going into cell A1 is very large, so it is going to go over cell A1 into B1 and C1, but that's okay. Just don't worry about it. Type it exactly as you see it, and um, that won't be an issue. So you're going to type everything in. Um, make sure you have all the cells filled out. Make sure you check when you're done. Make sure everything is in the right spot. Um, correct information, correct numbers, all that. So what I'd like you to do is um, go ahead and pause the video. Fill out all the information. So type all your information into your spreadsheet. When you're finished typing everything in, go ahead and resume the video. By then, I will have everything typed in also, and we'll continue on with step um, with step four. Okay, so now that you've completed step three, you have all the data in your spreadsheet. You check to make sure everything's in the correct cell. Check to make sure everything's spelled correctly, capitalized if it needs to be. Also, the numbers are correct. Then you're ready to go on to step four. So step four, we have some formatting um, options to do. So step four says format the text in cells A1 and A2 as font size 14 point and bold. So you can do these separately. I'm going to save some time and do both together. So I'm going to highlight A1 and A2. I just click in the middle of A1, drag down to A2, and now they're both highlighted. Then I am going to change the font size to 14. And I'm going to make them both bold. All right, step five, format the text in cells A4 and B4 as bold. Okay, so that's these two, these are the titles. So I'm click on A4 right in the middle of the cell and hold the mouse down and drag to B4 and make those bold as well. All right, step five, center align column B. So this whole column needs to be center aligned. So if you wanna do something to the whole column, you can just click right up here on the column title. So there's B, and now you notice it highlighted all of it for me. And I'm going to go over, in my case, it's under more. And then you'll see the alignment tool and change it to center. All right, so step one through six is finished already. All right, step seven is something that is probably a new, um, a new uh, feature that we're learning now. It says to freeze row one and four, or one through four. So what that means to freeze a row is if this was a really long spreadsheet, to freeze a row means that when you scroll through the page, whatever you froze remains at the top and only what's below that will move around. So um, rows one through four are all kind of title rows, which is why we're going to freeze them. So to freeze a, to freeze these rows, what you need to do first is you need to click on the last one that needs to be frozen. So row four is the last row that needs to be frozen. So I'm gonna click right here on the number four Okay, once I do that, then I go up to view, and the first option there is freeze. Okay, so you have a few different um, options here. You can um, you can choose certain rows, certain columns. 
we want to freeze everything up to row four, which is the current row that we just selected. So click on up to current row four. And once you do that, you only notice a small change. You'll see this uh, bold line underneath row four. But you can test this out by scrolling to see if it works. So what should happen is when you scroll, um, the top four rows should stay and everything below that should move. So I'm going to scroll around and you'll see that the top row is still there. The top four rows are still there, but the rest are not. So we'll go back up. All right, so step seven is finished. Step eight might be something new also. It says sort the range of data in cells A5 through B17 by the quantity sold in descending order from Z to A. Okay, so we need, basically what we're doing is we're sorting these numbers by um, descending order. So we're, we're sorting them from highest sold to lowest sold. So to do that, first you need to select everything from cell A5 to cell B17. Then you need to go up to data. And you have, again, a lot of options here. You have some different things. Um, these all say sort sheet by column A, though. So we don't want to do that. We, go, we want to go down to sort range. So what we need to do to sort range is select column B. So we're sorting according to the numbers in column B over here. And we're sorting them in descending order. So we're going to choose Z to A. Once you do that, you can hit sort, and you'll see how the numbers change. So now everything is sorted according to column B. And um, the, the names that were next to each number moved with it. So peanut butter had uh, the quantity sold was 21. So when 21 moved to the top because it's the highest one, the name went with it. So step nine says in cell A19, key the text flavor count. So I'm gonna go down to A19, double click, and I'm going to type flavor count. Hit enter and it's there. In cell B19, we're going back to formulas. So it says to key a formula or use the count function to calculate the number of flavors that were available for sale in June. So what we're doing basically is it's going to add up not these numbers here, but it's going to tell us how many different options we have. So we need to go to cell B19 and we're using a count function. Again, that was that's going to count up how many different options are here. So to do that, um, again, it might be under more, but you'll see this what looks kind of like a funny letter E or maybe a backwards three. I'm going to go there and then choose count. Make sure that you are in cell B19 before you do this. Now that you're in cell B19 and you chose count, you have this option down here. And just like um, some ones we've done before, you need to fill in the, the cell names that we're going to count. Okay. So we need to, on the paper it says we need to count the items in cells B5 through B17. So you could click on B5 and drag down to B17 if you'd like and then hit enter. That's one way to do it. Another way, I'm going to hit undo just to show you, you don't have to hit undo, but this is a different option, is to, instead of selecting them, you can type in, okay, inside your parentheses, the first one we want is B5, colon, so hold down the shift key and it's next to the letter L, and B17. And you'll notice that they highlight also just like they did before. Hit enter. And this is telling us that there are 13 options for flavors. So step 11 says format the text in cell A19 and B19 is bold. So click on A19, drag to B19, and bold. Next tells us to proofread your work for accuracy and format. So just go through, make sure you followed all the steps that were there, make sure you formatted everything as it wanted, and also make sure you use uh, the, f the formulas correctly, make sure you have everything good, all the numbers are right, all the words are spelled right, all that kind of stuff. Once you are finished with that, you are done the spreadsheet. So what you need to do is follow the instructions on your packet or follow the instructions that are on Google Classroom or wherever we might have them. And you're going to turn the assignment in whatever way I ask you to in person. Okay. So again, check, make sure everything looks good. Once you're ready to go, please turn your paper in.